Right, hello everybody, my name is Alex and um, the mission statement of today is my building a carbon cell with kitchen level materials. Uh, this is a way of replicating uh, carbon's um, patent, well, we, which you're gonna find more data on, on uh, Rick's research. And well, this is the third variety whereby we have an electrolyte made out of water and sodium bicarbonate. And uh, well, an aluminium foil and some activated carbon. And let me see, let me show you what it really looks like. And this is it, folks. Basically, we got um, water and uh, food grade sodium bicarbonate. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I bought these, these um, activated carbon uh, filters which came in nicely with a couple of uh, sponges and uh, well these are basically filtering foams of different densities this is the coarser one and uh, this is the finer one um, which already gave me a couple of ideas of how I'm gonna make this cell into a nicer and usable form so here we have uh, an aluminium foil that's been uh, folded a couple of times and um, in there we have basically uh, this filter over here with uh, a wire that went into it and um, we stripped stripped wire collecting all the um, electrons from the activated carbon now this is basically uh, double sided and it's got holes on both sides all right um, and right now we're measuring um, milliamps so the, this figure is going up and up and up and up um, so basically about half an hour ago was 10 milliamps and then it was 20 and now it's 33 okay and uh, since this is a thermal battery it makes good science and good sense if we were to actually measure the ambient temperature and the ambient temperature I don't really care how um, accurate this uh, device is, this uh, way of measuring the, uh, the temperature is. Basically what, we're, what I'm aiming for in here is to measure the temperature differential in between uh, the outer atmosphere and what's inside here. So, uh, air temperature is 26 centigrade and we insert that in here and we get around about one degree maybe two degrees warmer atmosphere uh, warmer temperature than in the atmosphere okay I'm gonna let that dry now and as for the as for the volts, let's see. Uh, we should be getting somewhere in the upper region of, uh, say, 400, 400 something millivolts. I've had it uh, a little, a little while ago, up to uh, 500, and then it was oscillating in between. Well. Uh, 500 and a bit and uh, 490 millivolts okay so what I got here in the, in the water is um, sodium bicarbonate I just put a whole bunch of it which is 50 grams into about half a liter of water I don't know if you can see this this is basically just a normal um, package for uh, yogurt it holds about a liter of water I didn't want to put put it the whole way up because uh, obviously that would exceed the uh, the height of the um, uh, of the filter which basically is my carbon electrode and um, in here I put just about a half a liter of water and uh, the sodium bicarbonate stir it well and then just dump the aluminium foil and uh, and and uh, what do you call it and the filter inside so here we go uh, it's uh, 490 something and still climbing here we go it's just over half a volt it will probably stabilize in uh, in this region 
uh, 0.5 to 0.6 volts. Um, okay, so here we go, folks. Uh, this is a carbon cell. This will basically just get better with time and will provide um, energy just as long as there's uh, sufficient ambient heat. Um, well, there is, a, there is a basic connection in between the entropy level of the um, whole solution and uh, the whole cell and how much current output is, 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 is giving. Uh, the warmer it should be in the air, the, the, higher the, the higher the voltage and the current. And obviously, if we happen to stir it up, this is basically, the electrolyte is basically one solution. And it's uh, water and, so and sodium bicarbonate. There's no, this is not just like in the, uh, the first or the second version of the, um, um, of the carbon cell, whereas we have, whereby we have two different, um, two different um, solutions, uh, which are not to be stirred. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed it, and as you can see, the um, the voltage seems to have stabilized in at around about 5 points, uh, 569 millivolts. Well, here it is. Have a nice week.